know, not long ago, a preacher had closed down revival and boarded a train and started on his long journey home. He sat down beside a good man and tried to start a conversation. Made some comment about the weather and the young man just didn't answer. So they rode on for a ways in silence. In a little while, the preacher heard the young man break out in songs. He leaned over and put his arm around him and said, Son, I'm a minister. And I'd like to help in some way if I can. The young man said, Preacher, I've got to talk to someone. You see, about two years ago, I had grown so wicked, went so far as to strike my dad with my fist. He told me, son, you've grown up so wicked and you're worrying your mother and me to death. And you're going to have to leave home. So you see, preacher, for the past two years, I guess I've done just about a little of everything that could be done that's wrong. About a week ago, I knelt down at an old-fashioned altar and the Lord gloriously saved my soul. The first thing I thought of was my dear old mom and dad. You know, how I'd like to go back home. I sat down and wrote my dad a letter and said, Dad, if you could find it in your heart to forgive me, please let me come back home. I told him that I would be on this train and if he wanted me to get off, I would. Well, this kind of confused the old preacher just a little bit. And he said, son, just how are you going to know if your dad's forgiven you? The young man replied, preacher, for just about all my life. We live beside these old railroad tracks in a little broken down house and standing in the backyard's an apple tree. I told my dad if he could find it in his heart to forgive me. Hang a white flag in that apple tree and I'd get off the train. In a little while, the preacher heard the young man break out in sobs again. The young man said, Preacher, I'm almost home and I can't bear to look. Almost home, preacher, and I can't bear to look. The preacher said, Son, that'll be all right. I'll be you, I'll be your eyes. So the preacher leaned over and wiped away the frost from the window so he could see. And as he looked out, a great big smile came all over his face. He looked at the back of the young man and said, Son, you don't have a thing in the world to worry about. Why, it looks like that apple tree's in full bloom. Why, son, there's white flags hanging all over it. And down under it stands a dear old mom and dad. They're not only waving a white flag, they have a great big white bed sheet. And on that sheet it reads, Come on home, son. We still love you. Come on home. And you know, I'm so glad that we have a father yonder in heaven. Though no matter how wicked or how much wrong you've done, Maybe he's speaking to you now. Say, come on home, child. Come on home.